Guys, Elementor has just launched a new feature called Dynamic Colors, which means that the color picker is now also a dynamic field. So they uploaded a new video on their YouTube channel, so the official Elementor YouTube channel, to promote that new feature. And in that video, they're giving you an example of how you could use that feature. So this is the video. So they say, for example, with a blog post, you can have a completely different background and a header and the button colors on every blog post or every page, right? So for example, you click to the next blog post and all the colors change. So that means that your client can now change the colors of the website after the website is done. Well, I don't know about you, but I do not really trust my clients with changing colors <laughs> um, and that is just because that's not their job their job is not to change the colors of the design you deliver a design and they fill in the content so when i saw this video on their channel i was like all right well great um but i'm not really gonna use this channel and then i was laying in my bed and and i was like wait a second is there not a better way to use this feature and then i got an idea which is actually a much more practical way to use this new dynamic color feature. And I think I'm the first one on YouTube to actually show you this. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest. So let's just dive in and I will show you what I mean. So here is a much more realistic scenario. You design a website for your client with an awesome transparent header, because this is now a huge trend in web design and we wanna have a few websites in our portfolio that have a transparent header, like I've done for this client project. Or I've also done for this project, which you already saw on the channel. So this is a transparent header. So what you do is you export your design of the homepage, you send it to your client, your client thinks that is absolutely awesome, and the client says, yes, start working on the website, looks absolutely awesome. So you start going in, into Elementor, into WordPress, and you start building this thing, you watch your tutorial here and there, and then you have the homepage. But then you realize that the website needs to be filled with content. And then the client will send you some pictures if they even have good pictures. And then two things can happen. One, the pictures do not work with your design. Because for this design, for example, this is a dark color for the text. And if you go to another page, if you use a dark color for the text over here, that's not gonna work because the background already is too dark. So in this situation, you need to create a header for the white version and you need to create a header for the black version. And what's also a realistic scenario is that your client does not have a picture for every website. So for example, on this website, this is a business page that doesn't need to be that fancy or for example, a privacy policy page. So now you have a problem, but you've already built your header template in Elementor Pro. So what are you gonna do? Well, you only have one option and that is to create different header templates. So you create one header template that is for the white version and one for the black version. But then you have to go into the conditions and link the header to the different pages. And this is a solution and this is how I did it in the past. But it's really messy because then if you make a change in one header, you also always have to make that change in the other header which is not very practical. And also in the future, if somebody else adds a new page to the website and you've not linked a header to that new page, then that page doesn't have a header or it has the default header, which can be the wrong one. So this is a mess and this is how it was before. So I have the solution and that is to use dynamic colors for your header template. So you only have to use one header template and you can set up the color on the page edit. And then if you save it, that new header will appear and there will be just one template for the whole website. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm here on one of my client's websites and as you can see, this is a transparent header. And now if I change to the about page, for example, you can see that the color of the menu will automatically change and even the logo, because this is the dark version of the logo. And on the home page, it's the white version of the logo. And this is all done within this one template. So what I've done is I have linked the color of the menu items to ACF color pickers. And what I've also done for the image, I've used a custom image, which is actually a dynamic field. So then the only thing that they have to do is go over here, select the right color, 
and select the right logo. And with some websites, you don't even have to have this logo fields like I've done on this website because this logo looks good on a dark background, but also on a white background. So there's also a default color, which is the dark one. And only when they need a white version, they can change it over here. So that means for this website that this is the default one. And then if the page has an image, they can just change this value to white and then save it. And then the menu will change. Okay, so the plugin that you need for this is called ACF. A lot of people already know this. If you don't know what ACF is, it's called Advanced Custom Fields. And with Advanced Custom Fields, you can add an extra field to all of your pages or to all of your blog posts, which you can load in on the front end. So what you wanna do is go to plugins, click on add new, and then just type it in here, ACF. And make sure that you have the green version installed, which is this one. It has 1 million active installs, is a very famous plugin. So then you will have this tab over here. So go to custom fields and go to field groups. And on this website, I haven't set that up. So we're going to do that together. So I'm going to click on add new. And I'm going to give it a name, which is header color. Or maybe a better name is menu color. Okay, and now we need to create one field for that actual color picker. So I'm going to add one field. I'm going to name this color picker. Field name, that should be okay. And then the field type should be a color picker because then you can select a color. So it's over here in jQuery, color picker. So let's say on my website that the default color should be white. And then if we have a page, so for example, the privacy policy for me, then we need to put in the value so the menu will change because this is not visible right now. So the only thing that I need to know is the color of the dark menu. So for my website, I'm gonna pick this color. So just copy the hex code, then go over here and give yourself a little bit of instructions. So for example, default, is FFFFFF, which is white. Change it to for dark menu. Uh, required no, and the default value will be white. So we're gonna set the default value at white. So then if we forget to change this, then it will always be white because for most of my website it's white. But if your website on most pages, it's a dark menu, you should, you should set the default to the dark version. Okay, so that's it. And now we need to tell ACF where we want this field to display. So I'm gonna select post type and then post type is equal to page. So then this field will always display in all of my pages. And there's one last thing that I wanna change and that is to position. I wanna put that high, otherwise it's gonna display at the, at the bottom and then there's more chance that I will forget it. Okay, so let's just click on publish for now. And then if we go to all of our pages, and now go to the edit page. And then if we scroll down, we're gonna see that we have this new color picker field. And from here, we can select the color or we can just copy our own instructions like this because we're here on the privacy policy page, which needed that darker version. So I can just paste the color over here. Okay, like this. So now this page has the dynamic color. But now we need to go into the header template and tell Elementor that we need to use this new field as the input for the menu items. So that's what we're gonna do. So go to templates, go to team builder. My header is called header version two because version one was for another tutorial. So here you can see my menu and then we need to go into the nav menu, then go to style and now we're gonna use this field because we wanna use the dynamic color field. Okay, so click on here, then ACF, ACF color picker field. Click on this one and then select the field that we have just created. Okay, so now that that is okay, we also don't need to forget our social media icons. So I'm gonna click on the social media icons, go to style and the secondary color, that's the color of the actual icon. We're gonna use the dynamic field also in here. So we're gonna just select the same dynamic field. Very easy, you don't have to make two fields, just the same field. Click on update. And now we're gonna refresh the privacy policy page. Uh, and we're gonna go to the home page to see if the home page is still white. And it is. Now we're gonna go to the privacy policy page and refresh this. And now you can see that we have the darker menu. It worked very nice. But now we have one more problem and that is the logo. 
because the logo is an image. And that's not as simple as just use the color picker fields. So that's the last thing that I want to show you. So how you do that is by going back to ACF. So you're here in your custom field inside of the menu color. You make a new field for your logo. So logo switcher, something like that. And then the, the field should be an image. So here you can select an image. Now for the instructions, I would say do not change this if the logo should not be white. And for most websites, that's the dark, right? Because the default logo for my website is going to be white. Uh, for most websites, it's, it's the dark version. Okay, uh, this is all good. We're still on the page here. Okay, so let's click on update. And now if we go back to uh, the privacy page, so just the edit inside of WordPress, we scroll down, we can see that we have a new field right here. So now we need to go back to our header templates, which I've opened here. And we also need to make the logo dynamic. So go to your dynamic tags. Well, first of all, refresh this page because we have new data from the back end. Okay, click on your logo again, click on dynamic fields, scroll down, ACF image fields that is now available. So select the field, the logo switcher that we've just created. But now we want the default logo to be white. And only when we pick the darker version, we want to display the darker version. So we need to click on it again. And then we need to select a fallback image. And the fallback image in this example will be the default image. So that's the trick that I found. Uh, so now we're going to select my white logo. Again, in most websites, that will be the dark one. So that will be the fallback. So when we've not changed the logo, we want to have the white version. Okay, we're going to click on update. Now we're going to go back to the homepage and see if it still works. See, see if we can still see the white logo, which is now a dynamic logo. Yes, that works. Okay, go to the privacy page, refresh, and this should still be the white version because we've not changed this on the page. Okay, so here, now we can select another logo. So if you click on add image over here, now you can select your darker logo. Okay, so I've set up the darker logo. Click on update. Now go back to your privacy policy page. And now if you click, click on refresh, you're going to see that we have the darker logo, the darker menu, and all within one template inside of Elementor. The last thing that you need to do is check mobile responsive mode because the hamburger icon for your nav menu also needs to be dynamic, of course. So if you go to style over here, don't go to the text color, but you need to go to toggle button and the toggle button needs to be dynamic too. So ACF color, key color picker. And the logo is still good, so that's perfect. Now go to mobile and also see if that works. All right, click on update. Now I'm gonna check it on my mobile phone to see if it works. Okay, my home page looks good. And now let's check the privacy policy page. And that also looks good, but the only thing that I forgot is to change the layout for mobile version on my privacy policy page, but that has nothing to do with the header template. So this also works perfectly fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is a much better way of using the new dynamic color feature because I've already used it on two client websites. So if that's not practical, then I don't know what is. Okay, and let me know if you have any other ideas for new videos and then I want to thank you and I will see you in the next video.